Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to install DHCP server in Windows Server 2022. Okay, so before installing DHCP server, let's understand what is DHCP and then I will show you how to install DHCP server in our lab system. Okay, so DHCP full form is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The name itself says dynamic. Dynamic means automatic. Automatic host configuration protocol. So that means it gives IP address automatically to the clients. Here clients is nothing but a, all our workstations, either laptop or desktop who are requesting for an IP address and the centralized IP address management and DHCP prevents IP address conflicts and helps cons conserve the use of the client IP address on the network. And DHCP reduces the complexity and amount of administrative work by assigning TCP IP configuration automatically to the clients. That is the benefit. Let's say normally in the real time scenarios, all our servers assigned with a static IP address, but our laptop and desktops and thin clients, all these workstations, if you have a more than 100 or more than 1000, even n number of workstations, if you want to assign IP address manually, it's not like a easy job. So we each and every system, we have to go to network connections and select the network adapter and go to the properties and assign the IP address. So it's not an easy job. But for servers, we have a limited servers, 100 or based on the infrastructure size. Initial only, we can configure the static IP address. But when it comes to the client scenario, like desktops, laptops, and thin clients, always recommended to assign DHCP IP address only. So during that scenario, we have to install DHCP server on any one of the Windows server. Okay, so that is only our next point. How to install DHCP server in Windows Server 2022. So let's log into our lab system. I will show you the steps. Let's say we log into our Active Directory system first. Normally, if your organization is large, large organization, they may prefer to use domain controller DNS one server and D DHCP can be configured on same server or they may configure on a different server. Okay, it's a difference on the customer requirement. But in our lab system, as we know, with if you open the server manager, the same server we configure Active Directory and DNS. See, ADDS, Active Directory Domain Services configured role. DNS also configured. Now I'm going to add an additional role that is DHCP server. So to configure DHCP server, again, the same like a previous ADDS and DNS configuration, just click on add role features. So minimum requirements are we should log in with administrator account and assign static IP for our local system. We already assign local system static IP and updated with the latest patch because it's a today install, installed only. So that means it's updated with latest patches. So now click on next. See role based or future based installation. Choose this option. Click on next and select our Active Directory server and click on next. And see, these are all the Windows Server roles. See, even if you learn each and every role, that is only the Windows Server administrator jobs. So today we did the two installations already in our previous sessions ADDS and DNS installed, installed. But now, I'm going to configure a DHCP server. So that means just enable this option DHCP server, all the associated tools also it will install, add the relevant features. See DHCP server is selected. If you see the right side nodes, it says DHCP means dynamic host configuration protocol. Server enables you to centrally configure, manage and provide temporary IP address and related information for client computers, okay? Why they mentioned the temporary means this DHCP IP address generally there is a lease period. Default lease period is eight days and after eight days, every client will get renewed with a new IP address. Okay, that's the reason they mentioned as temporary IP addresses. Okay, so now click on next. And features already it selected default features. So we no need to modify anything. Click on next. So DHCP server is going to configure. And now click on next. 
and if it is required, it may restart. So click on install. So this is how we can install DHCP server in our Windows Server 2022. See the installation started. OK, see configuration required installation succeeded. See configuration required means there is a notification symbol. We can follow the notification instructions. So just click on close this wizard and click on this notification. It says complete DHCP configuration. So click on this option. So this is the post install configuration wizard. So it will help you to create the following security groups, DHCP administrators and DHCP users and also authorize DHCP server on target computer if domain joined because already our system is domain joined. So click on next. See our domain is user credential is GCG lab our administrator default administrator. So click on commit. And creating security groups done authorizing DHCP server done. So click on close. See if you see in our server manager dashboard ADDS configured, DHCP server also configured, DNS also configured. OK, so if you want to open a DHCP console, the procedure is go to the tools, look for a DHCP tab. This is one method. Another method is we have the command DHCP MGMT.msc. You can type in the command prompt or open the run command and type the command DHCP MGMT.msc. OK, so when you open a DHCP console, see this is how this is how the DHCP console looks like. See, when I select the DHCP, we have a IP version 4 and IP version 6. And what it says, it clearly says the first initial step is creating the DHCP scope. So this step I will explain in the next session. OK, so this session we focused on how to install DHCP server only. OK, so that's it. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.